For years, radio veteran Ted Michaels ignored the moments where he felt the walls were closing in on him, when he felt unsure if he could do the job he'd done for years, never addressing the underlying issue until what he calls the weekend from hell. I was hosting the fifth quarter on CHML, the phone-in show from the Tiger Cat games. That night, I didn't care. We had calls coming in and thanks for your call, thanks for your call, thanks for your call. I didn't challenge the listeners like I normally do. We didn't have a discussion. I did a, a disservice to the audience that night because I didn't care because I was so messed up. I got home, told my wife there's a problem. There's something wrong with me. Next morning, I called my doctor on his cell. Eight in the morning, he didn't appreciate it, but he still saw me, brought me into the office and said, okay, you have anxiety for sure. I think you have a little bit of depression as well. So we're going to treat the depression and the anxiety after that. So he put me on um, a specific type of medication, which I was lucky, worked almost instantaneously, which kind of, if you will, took the edge off. Do I still have anxiety? On occasion I do, but I know now how to handle it, what the warning signs are, and how to deal with it. Michaels also hosted the health and wellness show through the pandemic. He realized almost everyone was suffering. COVID has caused a lot of problems, continues to do so, and that's what we want to do is shine the light on how people can get the help that they need. Inspired, he created The Long Road Back, an event featuring the Spoons and Friends, where he shared his mental health story publicly. I'm ashamed to admit I did a disservice to the audience that night because I didn't care. All I wanted to do was get home. I got home, saw my wife and broke down and said, I have a problem. Ted showcased himself and was very vulnerable in bringing a person and a shared story that people did not know and understand. And he brought that to this group with a lot of courage and used himself to help promote mental health awareness and to reduce more stigma in the community so that people could put up their hands and say, I want to come and I want to receive service for things which are troubling me. The evening raised $25,000 for the Canadian Mental Health Association, Halton. We've seen uh, increased demand in virtually every program of ours, from uh, crisis services to peer services to substance use uh, support services and case management. You know, what, what this donation of $25,000 means for CMHA Halton is the ability for us to be creative and innovative in offering new services to, uh, to our clientele here in Halton. And for us specifically, where we're, where we're seeing more demand is in people looking for timely services, walk-in services. Uh, we are absolutely seeing more need for crisis services, but crisis services sometimes in medical offices, at the hospital. So together, we can fight the battle of mental health stigma. It's important to reach out, to have that first conversation. Together, we can win.